Uh oh. We got trouble. Kendrick Lamar is back with a vengeance, and this time he's taking aim at some OGs in the game. Not necessarily dissing them, but some light jabs to let them know how he felt disappointed at them. And one of those mentioned was Lil Wayne, who has never been known to be a beef type battle rapper, and never really seen him battle tested because we just assumed from the hard bars. But who else has had some issues with Wayne that made him clap back? Kendrick Lamar. As Kendrick just released his new project Gen X, on the song Whacked Out Murals, he mentioned some of his idols like Nas and Snoop Dogg. But with Wayne, it wasn't really a diss. He was basically venting his frustration about the whole Super Bowl incident. Because remember how everyone was making it a big deal that Wayne wasn't performing at the Super Bowl? And Wayne even got on camera sounding super sad like he just came from crying and venting his mind on not performing. But in the midst of all that, people forgot to congratulate Kendrick and kept saying Wayne deserved to be performing in his hometown. Like Kendrick says, the only person to congratulate him was Nas and obviously Kendrick felt the way and on a song Kendrick says I used to bump the car to three I held my rolly chain proud irony I think my hard work let Lil Wayne down not really a diss just a thought bar and Wayne responded saying man what the fuck I do I just be chilling and they still come from my head let's not take kindness for weakness let the giant sleep I beg you all no one really wants destruction not even me but I shall destroy if disturbed on me love and it's obvious Wayne kind of felt the way but didn't take these words kindly even though Kendrick didn't say much and this is very fresh so we shall see what Kendrick does next but they'll probably squash it behind scenes because this is nothing but Kendrick just felt the way and he responded nothing to do with beef 50 Cent, shit, you already know what time 50 was back then, he was beefing with everybody and didn't give a damn, with this one it never really was serious and more of just jabs back and forth, and I honestly think Wayne didn't want no problems with 50 back then. On an interview with Funk Flex in 2007, 50 was asked what he thinks about Wayne being featured on so many songs, cause at this time Wayne was scorching hot and was on every one song, 50 replied, a whore sleeps with whoever will pay them, so we gotta call him a whore. He'll just go with whoever pays him to get on their records. He makes those records good, it's just that he works with anybody. And later that year, 50 dropped the song Part Time Lover, where he disses Wayne and Baby and says, You make me wanna kiss you like Baby Kiss Wayne, and make you call me Daddy like Baby Do Wayne. <laughs> Damn, that shit sounds gay, it's insane. I guess that's the price the little nigga pays for fame. Wayne eventually heard what 50 said and responded in an interview saying that's just crazy man i ain't fucking with 50 he's too high up there i can't deal with none of that i respect him and took it as a compliment i'll never go back at 50 that nigga's a trillionaire i'm trying to get up there homie i'm smart not dumb the following year in 2008 wayne dropped the song louisi animal and took shots at 50 and raps all about a dollar fuck two quarters bitch i put syrup in a vitamin water i hope you die ugly and tonight will be gorgeous in reference to 50 cents partnership with vitamin water at the time in his album get rich or die trying 50 heard this and would reply on a song play this on the radio and say to wayne and i'm on your heels mr carter i heard you you want me to die ugly okay don't end up on a list nigga be a missing person like cameron jai joe who wants some who want it what up since then there hasn't been much back and forth as both of them are now cool and 50 really respects birdman now just the way he talks about him as a mogul and his admiration but this wasn't much just two of the hottest rapper at the time clashing for the number one spot jay-z these two have always had respect for each other and was both on a come up around the same time but just different ages. This beef may have actually started from Birdman cause when asked in the 2009 interview about Jay Z being the number one hottest in the game list, Birdman basically said he doesn't think Jay Z is number one and that Wayne is and has more money than him too. He was definitely reaching on a money part but lyrically, yeah that's a good debate. Jay-Z just got voted number one by MTV, number one MC. What do you make of that? I don't think he's the number one MC. Wayne the best, he do the most, and he make the most money. Yeah. I don't think no nigga in the business make more money than us. And so how could you be the best if you don't make the best money, the most money? And you don't do the most. Mm -hmm. 
Lyrically, come on, man, be for real, man. Can't nobody fuck with Wayne. And to me, huh, you know, after this, Jay Z had to respond, and he did on a ham song with Kanye when he raps. I'm like, really, half a billy nigga, really? You got baby money. Keep it real with niggas. Niggas ain't got my lady money. <laughs> and Wayne heard this and would respond back on Jay Z on a song, It's Good. When he raps, talk about baby money. I got your baby money. Kidnap your bitch, get that how much you love your lady money. Fast forward two years later, Jay responded back on a song, La Familia, and raps. Nigga wanna kidnap my wifey? Good luck with that, bruh. You must gonna hide your whole family. Family. What you think we wearing black for? Ready for that war, ready for war, ready. This was never serious to begin with, just rap, as they would collab with each other on Wayne's song Mr. Carter, and Jay-Z has even helped Wayne with his taxes. Clips, push a T. The origin of this is very silly, but niggas will find any motivation to diss a nigga, especially when you're on a come up. Back in 2006, Lil Wayne appeared on the cover of Vibe magazine wearing clothes from Bathing Apes and also wore it in a video. For some reason, the clips felt that Wayne was copying them because they were one of the first ones seen to be wearing Bathing Apes and threw shots at him on the song Mr. Me Too when no malice raps, wanna know the time, better the clock us niggas bought the style from the shoes to the watches man that shit is a reach but somehow things got cooking from there and when Wayne was asked in the interview why he started wearing bathing apes and was it because of the clips it's just being messy he went off and he said I don't see niggas like that you talking to the best talk to me like you're talking to the best I don't see no fucking clips come on man wheezy man they had to do a song with us to get hot what happened to that boy come on B don't do that dog this a fucking legend you're talking to a legend right here 14 years b how many years them niggas been around who the fuck is pharrell do you really respect him that nigga wore bathing apes and y'all thought he was weird i wore it and y'all thought it was hot come on man Man, like I said, it was on some petty stuff and really a one-sided beef, rap-wise. Cause Wayne would continue to diss the clips on stage in interviews and Pusha T would always be the one rapping back throwing shots, so this was nothing. Then there's the infamous tweet Wayne said to Pusha T when he said, fuck Pusha T and anybody that loves him. And this beef ended up converting to Drake versus Pusha T. And that's a whole nother story. Young Thug. <laughs> this wasn't never a rap beef. Just someone idolizing his idol and got mad when the idol rejected him and wanted to kill the idol, literally. But we're focusing on the rap part in this video. Gilly the Kid. This was ages ago and once again wasn't a rap beef, it was more personal. When Gilly decided to leave Cash Money, that's when they started to have personal problems. So nothing about rap and since then they have pieced it up. So when it comes to real rap beef, Wayne has never been battle tested. But remember, this was the same thing people were saying about Kendrick. Oh, we never seen him battle tested. He hasn't gotten no rap beefs, only shots. So honestly, we didn't know what he was capable of until he just did this shit to Drake. So just like Wayne said, don't wake up the giant because we haven't seen him in rap war. Kendrick just proved that. But honestly, I think they will squash it because Wayne kept his mouth shut all during the Drake and Kendrick battle but hey we gonna find out together we gonna find out yeah man thanks for watching the video make sure you hit the like button on the way out and I'm gonna see you soon